Anyways, enough talking about that. Let's move on to rally number two. Round number two of the Extreme Championship. Rally New Zealand. So, uh... Hope I can do better here than I did in Mexico. Because, uh... If I want to win the title, I'm going to have to start getting some podiums and maybe some wins. So, here we go. Valley New Zealand. Extreme. Um, did they deliver a broken pile that used to be a package? I don't know. What 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 you get? Oh god, yep, those are definitely rocks inside. Oh my god. Super Xbox 360. Dude, nice. Hell yeah. Oh jeez. Always forget about that jump there. Cause it just it, you can't see it. All you see is just gray. <clears throat> the same shade of gray. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my god. That fucking that that sip of last sip of tea I had didn't want to go down. Fifty bucks, dude. Damn. That's awesome. Oh no. It's fine. It's fine. Nothing is wrong. We're okay. Everything is just fine. Ooh, clip one of those rocks. Not dead, though. Okay, going way too fast. I'm scared. Like, I would love to see, like, either bikes added to uh, the next GT game or a Taurus Trophy 2. I don't expect it, and I'll be, but I'll be happy if it happens. Yeah, yeah MR Vet C is, is kind of actually happening now because the C8 is a good engine. Speaking of, um,. Uh, sequels to games that are very old. Has there been any, any updates whatsoever about uh, Test Drive Unlimited 3? It's like, wasn't that actually being a thing, like a thing that was being developed at some point? Or like confirmed to be in development by somebody? I've heard nothing for the past like year or so. <laughs> That's right. I still need to get fucking. I really want to play Ride 2 and 3. Oh, look at that. That was a good recovery from the start of that stage. Ended up only three tenths behind uh, somebody. <laughs> Don't know who. Hybrids in GT5. Oh no. Um. The answer, the the answer is super to that is simultaneously several and none, because like I'll plan things, like plan a lot of things in advance, and then I'll change my mind, <laughs> and plan different things, and then I'll change my mind again and replan things, and it's it's a my mind's a fucking mess. So I could definitely say like I'm absolutely doing this game next, and then tomorrow I'll turn around and be like actually. Actually. <laughs> oh, it was science that won the stage, okay. I don't know. I played Ride 1, it was pretty damn good. Aw, Guardmeister's in last. Boo. Boo! We. No, boo. <laughs> it's not we, boo. Thanks for the resub, Keef, for a whole five ass months.
Thank you very much, my dude. Alright, let's go to Waifu Gorge for the second stage. I was wondering what Milestone was thinking. They're thinking video games. We must make... Dude, Milestone fucking shits out so many games a year. It's amazing how they're all, like, at least good. Like, Milestone games are usually no worse than good. Maybe not great, but they're definitely playable. And having fun, or can have fun with. Also, it's raining, I gotta remember that, so I have absolutely no grip. Yeah, that is true. I don't know. I don't know. Milestone is weird because like they have all these like uh, licenses as well because they do the MotoGP series, they do Motocross or yeah, MXGP, Monster Energy Supercross. They used to do WRC before Kyleton took it over. Like they got a lot of shit on their plate, and yet they somehow deliver like a. A good to really good product every year for all of them. I don't know how the fuck these those Swedish fuckers do it, but they do it. Like I'm not gonna lie, I actually am a fi fan of Milestone. Like yes, they're not the best. They've never made any like amazing timeless games, but what they've made, I like. Are they Italian? Long three left, rocks outside. Long oh, they're Swedish. Left, I might be stupid. Into very long five right, tightens, rocks Actually, Italian might be make more sense considering one of their like earlier racing long games was a fucking Alpha Romeo game. Over bridge into three right, long two left, tightens into six left, bank outside. Oh, they're based in Milan. Okay, yeah, I'm stupid. Wait, isn't there a Swedish racing developer? Long three right. Surely I'm thinking of somebody here. One left and two right into four left. Two right into very long six. I don't know, MotoGP 19 looks like really good. And I've heard good things about it. And I played uh, MotoGP 16, aka Valentino Rossi, the game, and other than the car, like the four wheeled. Uh, sections of the game, which doesn't... They, that was terrible. Like, their, their fucking motorbike physics do not translate to cars at all. But, um, I thought it was a really good game. From what I pay, played Jank Incarnate. Huh. I don't know. I've seen good things about it, I guess. I'm stupid. I gotta remember, every game is bad. <laughs> PGR 5 and Forza Horizon 5. Why not both? I don't know. Maybe it's because I haven't played enough Milestone games, but what I have played, I've been happy with. Oh. Yeah, anyway, third place in the stage behind Martin and Loeb, so I passed Science. Oh, and we got two retirements again. We got Duval and Solberg out, so. Whoops. <laughs> well then, hey, we in the lead. By only a tenth, but we in the lead. Okay. Let's go. And because of those two retiring Gardemeisters in the points, let's fucking go. Yeah, Hirvenin's still in. Alright, so let's go to Waifu Gorge 2 for stage 3. And uh, see if I can hold on to the lead. Probably won't be able to. But. Let's see. He's still in the playoffs. Yes. Three, two, one, go. go. Two right. okay, starting to die. What do you mean starting two, to? Right. Fence inside. 
They started a long time ago. It's now we're just now finally seeing signs of it, or like de definitive signs of it. Very very tight twisty start at the stage. Whoop. Whoop. Alright, I don't know how I survived all that, but here we are. Here I am, doing everything I can. Just need fucking Superman by Goldfinger play on repeat throughout these stages. I think that song might be extreme enough for this. Oh, come on. You can do it, Skoda. I believe in you. Crazy Taxi soundtrack. You mean just an Offspring album? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Alright, well there went what little advantage I had in the first sector. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised I'm only three seconds back now. Third, I'd be like ten. Soundtrack. I don't even remember that soundtrack of that game. The only thing I remember about V Rally One is that it was kind of poop, and like you, you will die if you even think about going like even moderately off track. I should do a V Rally marathon at some point now that I have the entire quintology. Or no, that's five quadrilogy. I'm I'm stupid. I know words. V Rally one is really eh. V Rally two is really great. V Rally three is pretty cool, and V Rally four is pretty cool as well. I'm not really well played of it. Hey, we're back in the area. Alright, let's go. Alright, really good. I remember V Rally 2 having a pretty good soundtrack. At least one specific song, which was like a thrash metal song. I'm just like, okay. I, I can fuck to this. Eh, I'll probably have to turn it off since it's a licensed soundtrack, right? So. I'll have to fucking turn off the music. Woo! So, that's a stage win. Let's fucking go. And the top. A, a new record time. Let's fucking go. Um. I don't know if. It's either DICE or EA that owns the IP. Considering DICE is being forced to, you know, Battlefield. Oh, Microsoft owns it? Oh, okay. Never mind. Piggy Pie. That's a hell of a band name. Alright, no new retirements. And I now have a 15 second lead in the rally. Let's go over the lobe. Let's fucking go. Names their band Piggy Pie. Uh, guys who wanted to name their band Piggy Pie. Alright, so let's move on to the second half of the rally. Starting with Parahi, and then go into Parahi 2. I don't see a Rally Sport Challenge 3 ever happening unless fucking Microsoft is just like, you know, these Kyloton guys, they revived V Rally. Hmm. No, but seriously, I would like. I honestly be, would be okay with uh, Kyloton making a uh, V Rally, because they, they did V Rally for uh, Rise Sport Challenge 3. I feel like they could do that. Especially with 
just how much they've been improving year in and year out on the rally games. So it went from like WRC 5, which was okay, I guess, to fucking WRC 8, which is like people are comparing it to like saying it as good if not better than Dirt Rally 2. Oh shit. I forget what those playground games make. I'm stupid, I'm sorry. I don't my brain don't work. That shit was so short, it probably wasn't even worth mentioning. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh man. Oh, Horizon. Ah. I don't see Microsoft uh, letting them take a break from Horizon to make another a different game. To be honest, I didn't see Microsoft commissioning a different like a studio like Kylaton to make it though. through over half of the stage without realizing it was raining. I'm observant. I kind of wouldn't mind having what playground take a break from Horizon, like making Horizon to kind of like freshen things up. Make an attempt to freshen things up. Very long straight over bridge. But you know, money talks. Okay. Oh no, I can barely see the rain as well, and I'm playing at fucking 480p. Straight into two left. Don't cut. On five right. Also at a higher frame rate, at double the frame rate that you guys are seeing, because. Ooh, capture card. Won the stage by a nice little margin. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Look at those fans. Look at those. Look at those fist bumps. Or arm, whatever. You know what I mean. I don't think I'm capable of actually talk. Oh, we got another car out. It's Duval. No, it's grown home. Oh god. Grunholm's out. All right. Well, rips uh, Pujo. I increased my lead by a lot because Loeb was very slow in that stage. And ends up losing second to Martin. Yeah, looks like I'm going to get 10 points here unless I absolutely fucking die in these last two stages, but... I don't hope that that doesn't happen, so... First up, Parahi 2. 6.1 kilometers. There's the map. Let's do it. Playground's making the next fable. That'd be a hell of a change of pace. Going from fucking open world racing game to RPG. to go. Bridge. Oh, shit. It was an extremely long bridge. Oh. Yeah, I'm making a bunch of extreme puns. Fuck you. 
Pretty sure I did this exact thing in WRC 3 as well. Can't be stopped. Can't stop, won't stop. Uh, I was gonna say some hilarious like that's MX versus ATV insert subtitle here, but I didn't really there wasn't an extreme championship though in two, so I didn't really drive drive them much, but I'm sure I did. Oh boy! We're going on a safari. Losing time. They're gonna have have time to lose because I'm like. 25 seconds ahead of uh, Martin. These cars. Too bad we're not going to Finland. Also, Finland in this game isn't really as intimidating as previous Finlands. Not gonna lie. Oh, let's go. Oh shit! Oh god. Fine. Just clip the gate. A little, a little keys. Confinement and dirt rally is just constant puckering of the, your chiefs. It's so much fun, though. It's so goddamn scary, but it's so much fun. All right, one stage. Let's go. Did it. Increase my lead a little more. Just a bit. Actually, don't know about how much. Right, see you later, Arthur. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good night, and we have another person out. It's Hirvenen. So. So far, two rounds, four DNFs for Subaru. <laughs> F. All I can say about that is just F. Well, heading into the Super Special. I have a half minute lead over Lobe. Taking second back from Martin. Gardenmeister's just barely hanging on. He's so far back, but he's still in it. Gardemeister's I think Gardemeister's gonna get a lot of a, a lot of points through attrition and attrition alone. Alright, so let's go to Mundukal Super. In the rally. May have that oh yeah. The fucking big rally uh Actually, Project Cars 2 would be Shift 5. Because that was because there's also um, Test Drive, Ferrari Racing Legends, and, you know, P Cars 1. Which, I'd say, slightly mad to really drop the ball with Test Drive Ferrari because, like, there was no actual season mode in the game. And it would have been amazing to have a season mode. Like, the career mode is just a bunch of scenarios. And no actual, like, n like just full races and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, just full seasons. Very long Sad. Into very long left also, look at that Peugeot. Oh, look at him as we both go off. Right, since Grunholm's out, that is Rovenpera. Uh, since he's the lone remaining uh, 
Peugeot. Project Cars could be great, but it's just got so many technical problems that that uh, brings down both games. Which is really sad because Project Cars, the first game especially, had like the gr my favorite career mode in all of gaming. My absolute favorite career mode. But there's just too many, just too many issues that. Stops the games from being great. It makes me sad. Oh, that's right. Automobilista 2 is using the same engine, isn't it? Forgot about that. Oh, wow, I was only fourth overall. I beat Rovenpera, but. Hooray. But it doesn't matter because I won the rally. Woo! 10 points. Let's go. Second place, Loeb. Marco Martin third, Saints, Rovenpera, and my boy Gardemeister, the last of the finishers. And then we have these guys. Ouch. Almost half the field gone. Almost. Hey, we've won New Zealand, finally. <coughs> so we got that trophy to put in our trophy case. Yeah, the attrition begins. Alright, well, at least, um... Schwartz's face isn't fucked like a whoever the hell I drove as last season was during the ex expert championship, and with that win, punched our ticket to the playoffs. Yes, now uh, tied for the point lead over Mark with Marco Martin at fourteen apiece. So let's go. Loeb just one point back in third. We got a tie for fourth between Rovenpair and Duval. And we have everybody but the Subarus in the points. Poor Subaru. Poor Subaru. Fucking still tied with Citroen. We both scored 13 points in that round. We're still tied, but we're closer to Ford, so. There's that. Alright, see if we can get this uh, ball rolling.